when starting a business, how do you identify your slash our strengths that we can monetize? Like, what is that process like? How do you determine what are your long-term goals for the business and how do they align with your personal goals? Decide what the end goal is. Is this something that is like... Someone literally is paying you to do a set of skills. Attention couplepreneurs, newly married folks, or you've been married for 10, 50, 11 years, and maybe 11. 50, 11 strong years, and now you're like, maybe we should start a business together. This podcast is going to be for you. Welcome to another episode of the Melanated Married Millionaires in the Making Show, aka the M4 Show. King, where can they tap in with us? Y'all can tap in with us at www.theM4show.com. Also tap in with us on Instagram at the M4 Show. If you got topics that you want to see, hit us in the DMs. We appreciate you. Now let's get into the episode. If this is your first time tapping into the podcast, my name is Devon Travell, creator of Black Wall Street, the board game. And with me, I have my partner in life, business the queen of logistics and operations herself. Talk to him. What is up, everybody? My name is Sinclair, a.k.a. The Health Nerd. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, happy to be joining you for a Ask Declare, basically, episode mm -hmm. here. This is an Ask Declare episode. What are your long-term goals for the business? And how do they align with your personal goals? Um, and I think we talked about this in a previous episode, but... Some people start jobs or side hustles and they just want to keep it as a side hustle. Mm -hmm. Or I just want to make a little extra $500, $2,000 a month so that we can travel, so that we can buy a bigger house, so that we can save for our next child, whatever that maybe short term goal is. And there's other couples that are like, no, we're building a business. Right. We want to have employees. We want to work for the business full time. We want benefits. We want retirement, health care. We want to charter private planes. Hey, dream big. Why not? <laughs> but what is the actual business goal that you have and set that intention from the beginning so that you can drive towards that goal? Um, Queen, anything you want to sprinkle on that? Just like you said, like our intention of starting our business was to be able to employ both of us, hopefully be able to employ our kids later on, right? Be able to pass the business on and really create like a family enterprise. Like that's the goal. So we are thinking with that mindset and making those types of decisions every step along the way. Um, whereas again, if you're just trying to do something on the side, then you may make decisions a little bit differently. So decide what the end goal is is this something that is like a family business that you want everybody to get involved in you want yes. it to employ i want everyone to get involved in our business and this is the debate that we always have our kids in my aspect in my mind mandatory need to work for the business the queen is a little bit more uh lenient in those requirements oh yeah we'll see what happens see us in 15 years when we have kids that are legally able to work <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's just really thinking about the end in mind. What is the goal of this business? Mm -hmm. There it is. Now, question number three. This is a good one to definitely ask beforehand so that y'all don't snowball and make a lot of emotional decisions afterwards. When starting a business, how do you identify your slash our strengths that we can monetize? Like, what is that process like? How do you determine what type of business you should even go into based on your own skills and strengths. Um, any wisdom you want to add to that on how maybe we did that or how you suggest other people do that? Well, I know, I guess it's more on like you initially and your um, strengths being talking. Word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he likes to talk. So it makes sense that we now figure out how to monetize that by you know, doing speaking engagements, creating courses, mm. um, that type of thing where not only are we offering the product, right, the Black Wall Street, the board game, which also came from, you know, some skills of yours and um, kind of unique value propositions of yours, like not liking to read, right, <laughs> but liking games that right. came together to create Black Wall Street, the board game. So I feel like that was a nice way of creating a product, but then 
thinking about how can we expand the business is where we really decided to tap into his skill of public speaking, mm -hmm. um, being able to really engage with all ages, but especially with with the young ones, like get really on their level um, and and be able to engage with them. And so I think those things have really helped us identify our initial product, but then also expand the business into, mm -hmm. again, offering speaking as, a, as another kind of revenue stream. Oh, yeah. And I think another thing that we've done and definitely recommend to you all is doing like personality assessments to figure out what is your strength. Mm -hmm. So as the queen was saying, she was focusing on, oh, Devon, your strength is talking, which I love to talk. Devon, your strength is gaming. But and then once we did the disc assessment, we also found out that, oh, the queen's strength is logistics, mm -hmm. a analytical, uh, cautious mindset, making sure that we have everything mapped out before we make a decision. And that's why she became the director of logistics and operations based on her strength. So highly recommend taking either a free or a paid personality assessment so you can get a deeper breakdown of who you are, who your partner is. Um, second thing that I wanted to recommend is maybe, I don't want to assume, but you probably have a job right now. Someone literally is paying you to do a set of skills. A specific set of skills <laughs> that can be used and combined at any moment, right? So you already have a professional skill set. So think about how can you pivot that skill set, whether it's McDonald's, it's Pepsi, it's Nike, it's Lumix, it's Sony. Someone's paying you to do a set job. How can you do that same job for your own brand, mm -hmm. right? So for me, I was working in education and I was basically promoting colleges, Right, going to the Black College Expo, going to college fairs, uh, having one on one with students, and every time I was promoting a specific university. So, I, that skill set of promoting, of speaking, of getting up, speaking in front of a crowd, and persuading or motivating students to go to one particular college, I now use that same mindset to persuade people to purchase Black Wall Street, the board game. Right? So think about what do you get paid for now in your current job and how can you take those basic skills and pivot them to your own business? Yep. Right? That's a great place to start. If you have no idea, you know you want to start a business, you don't know where to start, start with where your, ex your current expertise lies, which is probably, again, what you spend most of your time doing at your full-time job. That's mm. a, a great place to start. Yes, ma'am. You ready for question number two? Yes. All right. Question number two for couples that are interested in starting their own business. Welcome back to another episode of the Melanated Married Millionaires in the Making Show, aka The M4 Show. King, where can they go to tap in with us? Make sure y'all head to the website, www.themforthnumber4show.com. Also tap in with us on IG, on the gram, at The M4 Show. And of course, make sure y'all listen to this podcast and share it with a friend that you want to see win. Now let's get into the <laughs> Now let's get into the show. <laughs>